Today, Comita, Monroe County's development group, voted to approve $4.3 million in incentives for Topgolf. The 48,000-square-foot facility, worth over $40 million, will have dozens of driving bays for golf, a restaurant, bar, and event space, and would convert a former landfill into a space that generates millions in tax revenue for the town of Brighton. Again, Topgolf will be in CityGate. County Executive Adam Bellow saying this today. Next 10 years at its current tax rate will, t will generate roughly $324,000 in property tax revenue to Monroe County, the town, and the school district. That school district, for clarification, is Rush Henrietta. Now, in their application, Topgolf says they estimate attracting a quarter million visitors a year, the creation of 300 permanent jobs, and more. Monroe County legislator Rachel Barnhart, a critic of the project, says Topgolf's record doesn't match their current project. Promises. Kamita should follow the example of the town of Brighton and get all of the tax money that it is owed to Monroe County. There's no reason that Monroe County couldn't have taken the same approach. Todd Waldo, director of real estate development for Topgolf, refuted those claims. Analyst, executive director of Comita, reiterated that this project was thoroughly vetted before the vote. Town supervisor of Brighton, Bill Maley, adding as well that recent developments like Whole Foods have spurred more development and that Topgolf can do even more. And Waldo teased possible plans for East Henrietta Road and beyond. All of that's set for redevelopment as well. Uh, in addition to the economic synergies that this will create uh, across the greater Rich Rochester area. Now, there was one Comita board member who voted nay, and inside the meeting, he repeatedly asked Topgolf to strongly consider a local project labor agreement, and Topgolf would not give him a firm answer. He then voted no. Now, should the project stay on schedule from here out, they tell us Topgolf would open in CityGate in 2025. Reporting in the studio, Dan Gross, News 8.